the chairman. There is no market for them. I believe you said in your statement that as far as whether the market is too high or too low right now, you could not say it is too high or too low. I take it that you think this is a period that requires caution and you do not believe in jumping in and purchasing stocks. Mr Graham, well, let us put it this way, Senator. Quantitatively, the market seems to be about right, but qualitatively, I consider it to be on the high side and getting into a dangerous situation. The Chairman, that is, I think, a very understandable statement. That ought to be plain to anyone. If it is about right, then it means it is not likely to go up or down, but is about dead centre. Mr Graham, on the contrary, Senator, it may be about right, but that is likely to be accidental. A year from now, pardon me, sir. The Chairman, I take it you meant the relationship between prices and earnings and income is at a figure that is not clearly undervalued or overvalued. Is that right? Mr Graham, I would say that this is true for the most representative stocks as a whole. The Chairman, there will always be exceptions both ways. Mr Graham, yes indeed. The Chairman, I am not trying to tell you you understand. I'm rephrasing it only for the purposes of trying to understand what you said. I haven't any idea about whether it is high or low. I'm trying to put in language so I could understand what I thought you said. Did you notice the testimony of Mr Galbraith the other day regarding the tendency of the market and speculators losing their relationship to reality and that the market generates enthusiasm all its own for capital gains? Did you notice that testimony? Mr Graham, yes indeed sir. The Chairman, would you agree with it? Mr Graham, yes I would agree with it in general terms. The Chairman, that is interesting because he is purely an academic figure and you are a practical one and yet this is one point upon which you agree. Mr Graham, I should say, Senator, I am something of an academic man myself. The Chairman, I did not know that. Mr Graham, I have the title of adjunct professor of finance at Columbia University and I give a course in the evaluation of common stocks. The Chairman, I saw you on television in an Ed Munro show but I did not understand that you were a professor. I thought they had brought you on as a practical operator to tell them how it was done. I misunderstood. Mr Graham, they made me a professor because I am a practical operator. The Chairman, that is very unusual, is it not? Mr Graham, yes, the Columbia School of Business has about four or five such practising professors. The Chairman, I see. I think that it is interesting because you agree that it is a dangerous element when the market becomes too over-enthusiastic and loses, as Professor Galbraith says, contact with reality. You think there is a tendency to do that at the present time? Mr Graham, yes, there are some tendencies, undoubtedly. The Chairman, then you would say, as he put it, I believe that there is too much speculative activity in the market. Mr Graham, well, too much is a difficult phrase to define. I think if the market continue pretty much as it has been doing now in regard to the total amount of speculative activity, I would not be too concerned about the outcome. I am afraid of the cumulative effect of more and more speculative activity. The Chairman. I am not sure that is different from the way he put it. I think he was careful to say he did not think that the level of prices was too high, but that during the past year there had been too rapid a rise that there had not been any developments in the business world, productivity, or all the other things that would justify that rapid rise. It was the rapidity of the rise and a tendency to generate a sentiment, as he put it, of over-enthusiasm that disturbed him. He recommended, as you know, an increase in the margin requirements. Would you recommend an increase in the margin requirements? Mr Graham, I would like to duck the responsibility to this extent. I said in my statement that I feel the Federal Reserve should have no hesitation about increasing margin requirements further if it became increasingly concerned over the extent of speculation. I do not think it is necessary for me to make the decision for my friend Bill Martin, but I think the Federal Reserve has good judgment as anyone in that connection. The Chairman. That is a proper answer. I see nothing wrong with that. It is not your responsibility. Some, though, have taken the position that it would be discriminatory or a bad thing to increase the margin requirements to 100%. Do you think if the capital gains tax were eliminated and there was no tax upon capital gains, that that would increase the attractiveness of speculation or decrease it? Mr Graham, on the whole, it would increase the attractiveness of speculation. The Chairman, if it did, that would tend to increase the level of prices, would it not? Mr Graham, that is my best judgment. It is true that there would be some unfreezing of shares now held by long-time owners, but my own feeling is that very likely the net result would be an increase in speculative enthusiasm. 
the chairman, is it fair to ask you now whether your own company, and you do not have to answer if you do not want, is buying or selling stocks? You can be perfectly free to say you do not care to answer. Mr Graham, we have been selling on balance from our general portfolio of undervalued securities and endeavouring to put our money into special situations which are not at the risk of the market. 